We're at the annual skills competition for Skills Ontario. Uh, it's the first time we've had the in-person competition since 2019. Uh, we put it together, we have 76 different contests, 2,500 different competitors. What we're doing is promoting young people to explore a career in the skilled trades. Uh, there's hundreds of thousands of openings, hundreds of thousands of skill shortages. So what we're trying to do is make sure young people are aware of these opportunities. We're trying to ensure we're opening their eyes, opening the doors, and helping them along their educational and career pathways. Because uh, not too many people are interested in them or think it's a good career because you're not really going to college, but it's actually like great and there's a lot you can do and it's really fun and enjoyable. Uh, we have a wide range of competitions, 76 different contests uh, from landscape architecture, bricklaying, electrical, uh, 2D animation, 3D animation, uh, robotics, uh, mechatronics, culinary arts, uh, auto painting, uh, we have uh, carpentry, uh, three different contests for carpentry, we have uh, something for everybody. Yeah, it, it could definitely be like a stepping stone because basically before I even did this competition, I used to think, like I didn't even know what the skill trades were and like now I started this competition, I looked more into it now I'm actually more, I'm valuing it and looking more into like, a career in the skills. For some of these students, this competition could lead to job offers and other career opportunities. The hope is to inspire thousands of students into the trades. In Etobicoke, Audra Brown, City News.